The Beats Studio Buds. They're fantastic true wireless earbuds as they feature a lot of most important and most useful features such as the capability to use active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and they're fully compatible with Apple entire ecosystem. And so in today's video, thanks to a viewer suggestion, thank you so much, we're going to go ahead and search on Amazon and look for some amazing accessories that will actually make these beats even more desirable. In terms of finding a case, clever ways to make these earbuds fit in your ear canal a lot easier, less likely for them to fall, all that and more in today's video. So let's go get our MacBook and go on Amazon.com and see what we can find. So first thing first, I think we should look for a case. And I'm curious to find out what is the high rate, highly rated case for the Beats. As this is an excellent opportunity to check out and see if these highly rated cases are any good before we purchase it. So out of all these, there's two cases that got my attention. This one, even though this is a sponsor ad, it has a good amount of reviews. But this actually seems like it has the maximum protection we like. As I offer a locking mechanism so in case we drop this our earbuds don't just fall out of the ground so i'm going to go ahead and add this to cart and then we're going to go go ahead and grab the silica one i'm going to go ahead and grab it in black because my beats are red and they're kind of annoying they draw too much attention in my opinion add this to cart and here are both of these cases unfortunately they all come they both came in this generic packaging so judging by this one this is the uh shock absorbent version and they put in a lot of weird stuff like this cleaning supply, a brush of some sort, and a carabiner. The carabiner is nice, but this wasn't in the description, so it's kind of interesting. I'm starting to think this is probably something like from Alibaba, and they just decided to drop ship it on Amazon. But this is indeed the case. I know in the video I showed you I went with the black one. I switched it out to this red one due to the fact that uh, it was a faster shipping time. And to the most part... This is hard silicone, so it's pretty shock absorbent. And this different texture is just also silicone. It's just painted differently. And the concept is this part, just it's just a latch. So let's go ahead and actually slide in the beats. So charge port is open. Everything aligns up properly. Even the LED, front LED is exposed. And we can either peel this to increase the stickiness from the top portion of the case coming off. And the sticker sticked on to my finger. Great. So I didn't attach on well. I'll spend time to, yeah, it definitely needs to. Hold. Give me a second. I'm going to go off camera and install this. Okay, now it's properly installed. The top portion doesn't easily come off anymore like it previously did. To the most part, aside from the installation process, sticker didn't stay on. It works. This actually does help this from easily. Oh, that fell off the table. Pop it open and throwing your earbuds all over the place. Something that always happened with me. This is actually not a bad case. I like the loop right here. So you can actually attach the carabiner. This is not bad. And it looks nice. It's like Iron Man color. Let's go ahead and take a look at the silicone one next. Also has a sticky part on top. This one actually stayed on. And you simply just slide this into place. You have to really take your time to line the top lid up. It was part. There it is. Not too shabby. A gap right here, unfortunately. The B logo doesn't really line up. Charging port doesn't really line up. I think it's just six. But soft. If I drop it, I actually did a good job keeping the lid sealed. Oh yeah, it kind of popped open on that side. It's not going to do a good job like that case. But this, nonetheless, is not bad. And it's not that grippy silicone material. So I can still slide this in and out of my pocket just fine. And the carabiner, this part, I fear it will rat rip off one of these days. Yeah. I don't recommend using that a lot. Not bad. I still prefer that case. And now let's go ahead and look for some ear wings because these beats, they're cool and all, but I notice when I'm working out with these things, they're very easy to just feel like they're loosening it up when you're actively moving. So I have to readjust these. Let's look for some hooks for these. I'm very personally, I'm not a huge fan of hooks due to the fact that you have to remove them each and every time when you want to put them back in the case for them to properly charge. So just a quick heads up, these red ones, they look like they have excellent reviews. They're $13. Unfortunately, they do not fit in the case, even though they have the cutout right here for the, for the charging connector, which I thought is kind of interesting. Now there are all the hooks, designs, stuff like that. They're all going to be like this where you have to remove them before placing them on your ear. So I'm going to go ahead and add these ones to cart and see if this almost five star review is really accurate. And here it is. And honestly, I prefer this packaging compared to the plastic 
This is a bag of ones. So they do throw in three additional ones, three packs. And they also throw in a silicone compartment right here. So you don't lose them when you don't have to use them. Ironically, it has an AirPod right there though. Interesting. I do like the fact they are labeled left and right. And to the stall, you simply just slide into place. And they are color matched too. And this technically will make the Beat Studio Buds look like those Pro Fit earbuds. Not bad. See how they fit. So I was already wearing them for like an hour, just listening to a podcast. Shout out to the official podcast. But uh, these are actually really comfortable. I'm actually genuinely impressed how well these things actually tuck in my ear canal, as you can see right here. Well, not ear canal, but this ear grooving. These actually are super comfortable. I'm actually surprised. These are better than those weird third-party AirPods hooks. I honestly, they really do a good job staying put. Shaking so hard, my glasses are starting to fall. Not bad, though. I'm really impressed. And they actually provide a nice even pressure where the active noise cancellation feels like it's actually in the hands as it has a nice tighter seal. It's not bad. But will these fit inside the case? I hardly doubt it. No, not at all. I don't understand why they have the opening right here to charge it if it's not going to be able to fit in the case. So yes, you will be unfortunately needed to remove them each and every time you want to charge them. And removing them, it's... Now, other ways you can actually make these earbuds stay in your ear a lot easier and also improve the active noise cancellation due to the memory foam expansion in your ear canal really isolating you from the outside world is memory foam tips. Let's go ahead and look for some memory foam tips for the buds. I'm going to go ahead and select this. Has 4 out of 5 stars, over 200 reviews. Let's add this to cart. I love how they blur out the beats. They're made specifically designed for the buds. As well as the pros, which is a pro, and three available size options to choose from. Let's add these to cart. So since those other ones are going to arrive at a much later time, I'm going to go ahead and select it in red. So let's go ahead and add these to cart. Our packaging is uh, fairly bland in my opinion. Just a square box, and we have a bunch of sizes to choose from. Interior silicone, so they're nice and squishy. So now I just got to find my size, so give me a minute. Once on these, is extremely easy. You simply just push in, and it stays on like so. And they're fairly comfortable. I think I got the right fit. Unfortunately, there's no like fit ear test, but I was listening to audio earlier, testing out the different noises and stuff. But yeah, I want to say active noise cancellation is more enhanced previously. As the memory foam tip definitely does give you a more tighter seal compared to the silica ones. Just however, these tend to wear out a bit quicker than the silica ones. So that's something you definitely should keep in mind. But aside from that, they get the job done. These aren't bad for anybody who's looking to upgrade their sound quality. But I don't think they make them as stable compared to the physical hook. But I do think these are a must for anybody who actually travels and uses the active noise cancellation a lot. Memory foam tips make a massive difference, which I always recommend these for true wireless earbuds with active noise cancellation. Now, the last accessory that I could definitely find this to add features to the Beats is one of these AirTag cases. Because if you're anything like me, you usually misplace their item. Oh my god, AirTag makes life so much easier. So you can just buy one of these silicone ones. I'm going to go ahead and test these out because they all pretty much look the same compared to all the other silicone options available. It's just the silicone was a mount for the AirTag. So since this will arrive literally the same time as all the other devices, the accessories we're featuring in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and add this one to cart and see if it's any good. And here it is. We got it in that blue color. What the heck? Well, that was already peeled. And the entire concept is basically, I, think, I gotta preserve this, is another silicone case. You simply just slide it into place. It covers the Beat logo, unfortunately. Charging port, still easy to access. You can still probably press the pair button, which is right here and on the back. And then you simply just line this up, apply pressure, apply pressure, drop the buds in place. And yes, even with the memory foam tip, there's no interference whatsoever. And seal it. And taking an air tag out supposed to just drop it in place and then center the apple logo if you like and there you go now if you're anything like me who always misplaces your airpods you can now launch the find my app and you'll be able to place sound and locate these if ever you misplace them because yes even though the earbuds can be tracked and placed sound individually it's once they're in the case it's difficult to actually track these things and this you got to take advantage of apple's precision tracking for the beats so these are definitely a must for anybody who's clumsy or just has a habit of misplacing stuff. This is not bad, and you got the loop right here for a carabiner. They actually do provide. And just like that, we are done. We now have decked out our Beat Studio Buds with some accessories that should allow us to have more abilities and features 
easily enhance these buds. Aside from that, there you guys have it. I'll link to all these accessories and everything else will be all, of course, linked in the middle description down below with timestamps next to it. Product accessory video was suggested by a viewer, so feel free to comment down below if you have any suggestions of your own. And make sure to hit that bell icon because I plan on going live pretty soon with you guys and we'll look for some accessories together and put together a video later on. So make sure you are subscribed and you ding that bell for those notifications. Aside from that, if you wish to watch more, highly recommend checking out this video over there in case you're curious what kind of band I have on my Apple Watch Ultra where we check out some amazing accessories for that device. And then that one over there, that's just a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.